thanks for watching or listening to another episode of the follow-up podcast i'm noah this is my six-year-old daughter eden every week we turn on the camera and just have a conversation that we would normally have around the apartment here in new york city we're sitting on our bed it is eden's topic of choice and today we're talking about respect because this past week it was respect for all week in school respect for all week okay so what did that entail that until talking about well the first day they showed us about a 20 minute video and it was a pre-k teacher miss melissa mm -hmm. and a first grade teacher miss julian who's in the other first grade class teacher in the other first grade class mm -hmm. and they did a video and they were talking about bullies and a, how to be a good friend and how to be a good friend went through out the whole week. So that was the theme of the whole week? Like kind of how to be a good friend and things that go along with that. So can you tell me some of those things? Respect. Well, what's sure. respect? Uh -huh. um, honesty. Being a leader. Oh. Like you always tell me. Uh -huh. Every morning you tell me before I leave the house, be confident, mm -hmm. be a leader. Mm -hmm. Be respectful, responsible, and have fun. Yeah, those are five good things to think about throughout yeah. your day. And those are great things to that leads of how to be a good friend. Yeah. Right. Because if you do things, you can do all those things in different ways that lead, depends on what the situation is, and also that leads to different things happening. Did they... In which way you use them. Did they give different situations, like then ask you how would you be a good friend in this situation like kind of yeah, like role playing did. at all they didn't do that mm -hmm. but they asked us like like when we were making like that cake or like a soup like all the ingredients like of how to be a good friend and then you mm -hmm. write like why and then like two cups of something or something like that yeah. they that was like how you your top six things of how to be a good friend do you remember some of your other ones I remember I know you wrote Honesty. Love. Love, okay. Yep. Respect. Respect, sure. I think you wrote caring. Caring. Yeah. Another one could be kindness. Kindness, yeah. Truthfulness, trustworthiness. I think you wrote well, trust. I wrote, no, I wrote honesty. So honesty, yeah. That, that right. That's goes on what you said. Yeah, because if you can't be, if you can't be honest with a friend, right. or you, and you can't, if you can't trust somebody, right. then they're simply not a friend there's almost like yeah. different levels of being like a friend a friendship like someone that you might yeah. just you know play with but you're not yeah. going to yeah, yeah. you're not going to trust them friend. with right. certain information or certain feelings right like if this is the chart like there might be like blocks of different colors and each block or color means a different thing mm -hmm. are you at the point with any of your friends where you guys talk about like feelings or emotions or mm -hmm. anything deeper than just Playing. Like playing with each other? Not really. I, I don't know when that changed for me and, and, and my friends. I, I don't I don't know when that changed. Were you ever bullied? That you can remember? I don't remember I don't remember being bullied. Like I remember I remember a few times being like picked on a little bit. How so? Like, because I, I was never, I was always friends with a lot of different groups of kids uh -huh. in elementary school, junior high, high school. But I was, I was never that, I was never big. I'm not, I'm not a right. big kid. So sometimes, like, I remember, I remember a few times in junior high, so seventh, eighth, ninth grade, when some of the bigger kids would, if they were just in gym class like they would just like give me a shove or something like that and try to make me feel like maybe they they're they're trying not they're trying to make me trying to kick my confidence down maybe a little bit um you know i remember one time in elementary school i was in the yeah. i was in the lunch line and this kid just kicked me in the in the shins really hard where's your shin shin this is this is your shin right here it's really hard there's a bone there and 
and it hurt, and I and I remember crying a little bit. But that kid had he had some he had some emotional problems himself, um, so I don't think he was doing it to me because it was me. But um, yeah, you know, and I, and I do wish there are some times that you know I think about situations where maybe I could have gone more out of my way for other people as a kid like if you saw if I saw someone sitting by themselves at lunch and then I, I looking back on it I mm-hmm. should have every time invited that person mm-hmm. over instead of just sometimes things like that as you get older and especially as you become a parent and think about like how things affect your kids mm-hmm. there are there are certain things that I do wish that I I did more of yeah because there are so many just simple things right. you can do like just by sometimes saying good morning or hi how are you maybe that person was feeling ignored or was feeling sad but when they got to school they thought well wow, Eden said hi and asked how I was so maybe that maybe someone does care about me it's yeah. it's a pretty deep thought but it's something it's something so little there's there's just no reason right. not to say hello or ask someone if they want to join right. your group or anything like that. It's like, there's basically no steps. It's basically you can go on like your own steps, kind of. In what way? You have to do it the right way for the kindness and stuff. Uh-huh. But there's basically not like a right way to do it. Right, everyone can go about it their own way. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because there are so many different things. There are so many different things that you can do to just make someone feel good and, and, and show respect. Mm-hmm. And also, we talk a lot about respect at home. Right. Yeah, the way like that I mentioned that you what you always say to me in the morning. Yeah, and and mom right. and I always we've always felt by speaking to you like you were like an adult, but not not ever speaking down to you like you don't understand something. We just that's almost kind of like our way of showing you the respect like yeah we we want you to have responsibilities and here's how to be respectful here's how you speak to how we speak to you is how we'd expect you to speak to us and how we'd expect you to speak to other kids and how to speak to other adults right you've learned some things that way Mm -hmm. yeah it's important it is important so what else from respect for all week Stands out. I my f- stands out river grams, which are basically um, a river rave is like when your teachers like basically give you a they like basically write to you like of what you did well that week. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a, that it's a, it's stands a, it's out, right? It's an acknowledgement. Right, that yeah. stands out. Come this way a little bit. Mm-hmm. And riv- and river grams are basically are when are kind of like. Um, reveries, but you're writing them to like a friend or someone else. Yeah, which was nice, yeah. a- acknowledging someone else's friendship and why that person is a good friend. Right. Mm-hmm. And I also like the self portrait, which we did on Monday. So you drew a self portrait of you. I drew my whole body, but yeah. And then. You didn't draw legs. <laughs> you did not draw your whole body. You drew a, a very pretty dress, but you did not draw legs. But I drew ours. I drew ours. Did you? Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe I'll find the picture and put it up. Yeah. With the podcast. It's okay. Okay. We wrote words, like um, character trait words, which I think I said that because I had, I used my character traits word wall. Mm-hmm. But, and we just... And we described ourselves. Right, so which shows that you need to respect yourself. Because right. unless, if you don't respect yourself, and you don't love who you are, then you're going to have a tough time showing that respect to other kids and finding friends that way. Right. And that kind of goes along with those books that Dante had sent, that I know we talked about before, about those different types of affirmations and mm-hmm. saying, you know, that's why we say to you every morning those certain things, like, be respectful, responsible, be a leader, be confident, have fun, and those other things about treating yourself like a friend. It's it's so simple, but treating other people the way that you would want to be treated. So always so always thinking like, like how would 
if I was in that situation, how would I want that person to talk to me? Or how would I want them to handle it? Right. And then just do it that way. Right. Yeah, so if you tell yourself those things, it really does, it really does sink in. Right, it does. Because mm-hmm. it sinks in your head because if you think those things, then it kind of gets stuck in your head. Right. And then when it gets stuck in your head, you do it all the time. Right, you truly believe it. Right. Yeah. And then everything turns out just basically perfect. We hope so. Well, not perfect, but... <laughs> but we hope so. Just yeah, same. and we hope it just it's for everybody. Right. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. Love you. Love you.